Hello YouTube, Flying Caveman here. Today we're going to be flying from Houston, Texas to Doha aboard this beautiful A350-1000 from Qatar Airways. This aircraft's only about one year old. It's very nice inside. Route of flight takes us up over the North Atlantic and down through Europe, across Saudi Arabia, then over to Qatar. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like. Thanks for watching. Check-in process away from Doha is never quite as nice as Doha. Here in Houston, there's only one flight a day. The business class check-in went very promptly. Everyone is very polite and professional, and everybody had a smile on their face. There is a dedicated uh, business class, first class security here, and I'm also TSA pre-checked, so security was a breeze. As you come through security, turn left, gate D5 is about a two minute walk away. I turned right and went down to the KLM lounge, which is about a four minute walk from security. Uh, the lounge is very nice, so let's go on inside. How you doing? I'm great, how are you? Good. Alright, I'll let you know when we start boarding, alright? Alright, thank you. Hi, sir. How you doing? Yeah, you want some please, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to find a seat first. <laughs> So here at Houston, Qatar uses the KLM lounge. It's a very nice lounge. Kind of limited seating, considering there's multiple airlines in here using it. Pretty nice. Got some sandwiches and snacks, mixed drinks, sodas over there. Receptionist comes and gets you when it's time for your flight. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. I like it. Alright, it's time to go to the boarding gate. Walk on down to D5. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, thank you. D5 for Qatar, right? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Seats are very nice. These actually turn into like a double bed. Mine will be like this against the window. I'll give you a tour of my seat when I get there. 1K. Hi, thank you. How you doing? All right, let's take a quick tour around the seat here. Lots of light together. Okay. IFV controller. As well as the screen. There's a touch screen. Select the English. Lots of movies, lots of TV, movie maps. Very nice. Got an amenity kit. Safe kit. Nice plush blanket. Hello. Here you've got power supply, headphone plug in, place to store your stuff. I'll actually get a battery out and plug it in there. Plug my devices in there to keep it charged. Got a light right here behind the seat, on the corner of the seat. Coat hook. Got a couple of nice big windows here. I am in seat 1K, which means I am right up against the bathroom galley here, which some people don't like, but I actually prefer it. 
generally I'm over there in 3A or 5A. But I chose 1K today to shoot this video. Center seats are for families generally. If you're traveling alone, sit on the outside with the window seats. Very private. You can actually get a family of four in these center seats. The center partition slides out so you can all sit there and talk with each other. Another nice feature. 
Have a little extra seat here in business class. Opens up. Bottle of water. Headphones are in here. Noise canceling. Very effective. Love them. And if you need to just, you know, throw your wallet somewhere while you're sleeping, these are all handy right there. in there hopefully mine's in there we'll see okay this is one of the things I love about the corner is the USB plug-in right there got my GoPro batteries charging right there I do try to shoot a lot of things in GoPro so I do carry three batteries I try to keep two of them in the cooker and charging got a USB connection here to a battery backup, keeps our battery backup charged. And then our both cable left there to my iPhones. Although I do try to uh, shoot currently on GoPro, I do shoot a lot of stuff on my iPhones when I'm in between. That's some storage right there. There he is. Electrical outlet down here too, if I need to plug in my laptop. Just some quick pictures of the menu items here in the wine list. Uh, feel free to pause the video at any point if you want to take a look at the uh, menu.
Thank you very much. Alright, that's the pan seared sea bass. Some angel hair pasta. Nice Chardonnay with it. Just dig in and give it a try. A little bumpy. Spilling water all over. Perfect. Thank you. The key lime cheesecake is here. Some strawberry garnish. Marsh component there. I don't think that's what that is. Once again, we're going to dig in. Nothing better than fine dining at 35,000 feet. It should be a long end. Clear the table here. I'm going to get up and use the bathroom and change into my pajamas. And the flight attendants are very attentive here. Typically, when you come back and put your pajamas on, they've turned your seat into a lie flat bed. And uh, the time to see if I can't get seven or eight hours of sleep. Our Airways business class bathroom is really nice. Got a window down here. Change of station if you've got a child. Another mirror over here. Alright, everyone. Pajama time. And we're back with the pajamas. Alright. The crew was fantastic on this flight. When I came back from the bathroom for putting my pajamas on, they had indeed turned the seat into a bed. I find these to be very comfortable. I like the rearward facing seats. That way, my head is still higher than my feet.
sum up this flight is great all around. The flight attendants were great, the food was great, the entertainment center worked perfectly, the internet was on every time I needed it, and my Almaha was there to meet me when I got to Doha. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and if you'd like, hit notify, and next time I post a video, you'll